Coconuts TV. Hong Kong only introduced seeing eye dog services for the blind in 2011. The estimated demand for seeing eye dogs is nearly 1,200 people. Currently, Hong Kong only has 20 seeing eye dogs. Hi, my name is Walter Chui, and my guide dog called Rangy. The first seeing eye dog school opened in Germany post-World War I with an interest to help blinded war veterans. After seeing the many benefits of seeing eye dogs, other schools opened up across Europe and the first school opened in the U.S. in 1929. From San Rafael, California come dramatic films of a school where the blind and their guide dogs form a partnership. The school is operated by Guide Dogs for the Blind, a non-profit organization that helps not only veterans but qualified civilians. City traffic is the final test of skill for dog and master, the final exam before graduation day. Together now, man and dog, they go out into the world and on their own. I discovered my visual impairment since three years old. I had my eyesight around 30%. My eyes deteriorate quite significantly. It is a relatively new thing in Hong Kong. People are curious. Rangers definitely look very cute. It's having a very cute partner to be with me. Not as like a white cane is kind of cold. I used white cane when I was in Star Ferry, but I look for help and yell many times, but the people are kind of hesitate to offer help. Um, with Rangy, uh, I put a lot of people get warmer to, to, to offer help to me. Ayman Tam is a trainer for the Seeing Eye Dog Services in Hong Kong. Wingji is our knife seeing eye dog puppies from Japan. Japan donated Wingji to us. Uh, he trained by another cat trainer. Two ways we can get a guide dog. One of the ways is uh, you import a qualified guide dog from another country. And the second, uh, we trained in Hong Kong locally. Uh, it's quite difficult to introduce seeing eye dogs to public because Hong Kong is quite unique because many people, many noises, or you can see the roads got many obstacles. The most important problem is the high density of people and the instant loud noise make the dogs feel stressful. Seeing idle puppy should be grew up in Hong Kong but not in another country. So uh, the dogs should uh, adapt when they are still young. And you can see there is a sign here uh, in Chinese, uh, seeing eye dogs working, and please don't disturb them. Sometimes they just put up their camera to take photos without any permission. So uh, sometimes it, it is a pressure for myself and my friends around me. The Hong Kong seeing eye dog services would give us some some uh, some cards, tips for for the behavior when encountering a guide dog. I'm get, get, getting so mad when I handing out the, uh, the, the tips card. The people actually reject it, but keep on patting my dog without my permission. I'm so so mad because they they they're not doing the right thing, but rejected to learn. I think in Hong Kong, there's a lot of people who are passionate but under encouraged, and Hong Kong CNI dog services have spent a lot of efforts in training and localizing the guide dog. Official support from the government is really important. Right now, they have sponsored from the link, but it is certainly not enough because one guide dog almost cost around a BMW. To train a uh, seeing eye dog is about uh, $200,000 in Hong Kong. Uh, seeing eye dog organizations can provide uh, technical support and the puppies are supplied to our organization. And if we do not have another country support, uh, we can't start our organization. Official support from the government is really important. A lot of support needs to be coming from officials. With Rangy, my life changed quite a bit because um, before I having Rangy, I always taken care of by, by pe uh, people around me, but now I need to learn about how to take care of my partner. I need to contribute, and also I get the rewards. A lot more joy and a lot more delightful moment we spend together on the streets, at home with my family.